yeah this is gonna cost us a lot and something we really didn't want it's tough when you're on the road and this happens because then you know that you're gonna be stuck here and when it's your house it's not just your wheels it's your house it's tough first roadblock something that I didn't really want to happen and I don't know how it this happened but we just stopped at Kings Canyon and at our camp spot and there's oil literally everywhere so we just checked with the reception uh, there's no freaking mechanic in Kings Canyon unless there's someone over here but I mean I'll have to talk to every single one at the campsite uh, I feel a bit lost and defeated, but I'm gonna be positive. I'm gonna call my insurance because I do have a full insurance, which is the best part about it, and see what they can do for us. Um, closest places is Alice Springs or Yulara, where we were before, so see if someone can come down tomorrow. And it's a Sunday, we are in such good luck. <laughs> All right, it's the morning afterwards, we sticked it out throughout the night, uh, figured out a few things. Um, Luckily, we are part of this group called the Delica Group Australia. So what I did was I put up, put up all on the pictures Facebook. on Facebook. I put all these pictures that I took out of it, of, it uh, of the situation on Facebook and few people replied who has gone through the same situation and told us it's the uh, oil sender. So it's definitely a ten dollar fix so we're gonna check we're gonna see what we can do clean it up as much as possible doesn't mean it's definitely that but that'll no, be the first thing no. we check and uh RACV wasn't much helpful as well no. they quoted us two thousand dollars as an excess because we are 300 kilometers away from the closest one which is not gonna happen so i mean i don't know if I, we can't say still but hopefully not because that's that's gonna be a huge loss for us so we're gonna do as much as we can get into it we're gonna go to get some cleaning products and uh, clean all yeah. that lovely oil off ruin our clothes <laughs> all right so you saw the things that i was looking at to buy but because we're in a remote place and it's only the petrol station that we have we only got sponges and a bottle of coke Can you hold that, Bob? A bit more. All right, let's do this. We gotta get all that oil clean over there. Um, the cars. Yeah, the van's a bit cold now, so it's better than yesterday. You can actually work on it. It's just about cleaning that piece over there. That's the oil pressure sender, which is probably causing all this oil. So we couldn't find any other tape at the general store. The only thing we could find and what we had was this black tape. We're meant to have duct tape somewhere, just don't really know where. Back on. Now, start. We are praying and hoping that was the problem and that we did at least a temporary the, fix. Uh, the reason that we thought of this as the problem is because um, a whole lot of people told us that's probably what it is. So yeah. <laughs> we're not just uh, guessing. Now we've done the initial stages of it. We're not going to clean it because we think it's completely pointless. Because if it happens again. Problem is we called Alice Springs to see if they have any mechanics because they've got the races going. They don't have any until the end of the month. More good news for us, right? So we're gonna try Yulara. I called them already. They said they've got availability to come in tomorrow. We're gonna try and drive to Yulara. Molly's just looking for accommodation. Any luck? Well, my wi my internet is super freaking slow, so it's taking me an hour just to do that. <laughs> but once I get some which? sort of, you know, some sort of progress. I'll let you know. Oh. Yep.
yeah. So we made a sudden decision to go to Alice Springs because that's the only place we could get a mechanic booked at and the cheapest accommodation for us to stay without our van. So we are going to go to Alice Springs now. It's going to take us three hours along the Stu to Stuart Highway. Hopefully nothing happens and we'll get there soon. Um, but yeah, anything to add? No? Stressful. Stressful. And we're on our way to Alice. to get to the Stuart Highway we are just checking it again and there's still a bit of leakage I can really fix it what are you doing oh it's upside down <laughs> hang on now where are we you're kidding bro well, we're gonna live in the stone age <laughs> I've got google maps going on I've got no reception <laughs> You can see Molly running back. We just lost our bungee cord. Don't know what that was. I reckon she kept it on top of the windshield when we were driving. Let's ask her when she gets back. <laughs> Here she comes. Where'd you leave that? <laughs> I left it on the front. Oh, yeah. Told you. <laughs> Not the first right. time I've done that. Either. Let's get going. Mac was telling us to go down this road that was like a sandy, corrugated four-wheel drive track, pretty much. So we decided against that. We got about halfway down. Well, not even halfway. We got like five minutes into it and we're like, nah. Because we've have been having car troubles, we didn't want anything extra. So we decided that we'll just take the Bitumen Road, which will probably take us an extra hour to get to Alice, but oh well. Alright, we just stopped at El Dunda. El, El Dunda. Uh, the same stop that we stopped before we went to Yulara. Um, this has been a round trip now. Um, it's gonna take us two more hours to get to Alice Springs. We just stopped for fuel and some food. I'm hungry. <laughs> but so far we've checked the leak again. It is still leaking. Obviously. Uh, this is gonna be a problem because we think it's gonna be a major fix when we get to Alice Springs. But hopefully we'll get to at least go there and then get rid of this insane uh, stress that we have right now. We freaking made it. <sighs> Look at that tired face. <laughs> we got here safe. Risked it all. Don't know at what cost, but we're gonna see after the mechanic tomorrow. But I'm just glad that we're here. It's just a huge sigh of relief because. <laughs> We'll see what happens tomorrow and uh, how long we'll be stuck here for. Um, it's 7.30 in the morning and we are Take on our way to the mechanic. Don't worry about Google, we're just getting our directions. But yeah, we're on our way to the mechanic to see what the damage is. We are back after dropping Delilah at the mechanics. They couldn't really give us a word on what's happening. They're gonna call me a bit later on. We don't know if we should book accommodation for a few days more, but it's a long week and everything's almost booked. So, yeah, I mean, it's a tough situation, but we got out of one situation. We came to a proper town, proper city. I don't know what they call Alice Springs, but at least that's a plus. So you're hoping for the best still and uh, keeping our chins up. I woke up from a nap and Janura woke me up and the mechanic called and we got to pick the lava up. It's only been a few hours, so... It's insane. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, it's insane, because, I mean, I'm just happy, man. Like, I don't know. Hold on, let me just go outside, so there's more light. But, um, oh, yeah, they said it's around 170 bucks. We freaking saved $2,000, not towing our van. 
this is why you should be positive with Enrique. My freaking god, I'm so happy because oh, I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, we just went for the accommodation, which is fine. We get to stay at this really nice place, and uh, we get to have Delilah back and continue our trip without losing so much money. Ah, so happy, so happy. I reckon we're gonna end the video over there, guys. Hope you learned something out of it. If you're ever in Alice Springs and you get stuck close to Alice Springs, come check out Auto Mechanical Solutions. Alice Mechanical Alice, Solutions. Alice Mechanical Solutions. And talk to Ben, superb guy. Got it done for us within a few hours. We can't be more thankful. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I mean, I don't know, it's, it's been a crazy ride for us, but we learned a lot, we experienced a lot, and uh, yeah, now we're just happy and we can get on the road again. Woo!